Working with brands might be challenging as they want to follow the corporate guidelines throughout all marketing products and website or app is not exception. Therefore, you need to figure out which elements will inherit primary colors, secondary and so on. In such case, I don't have any hardwired rules. All here must come from harmony and your love to visitors of website. It also happens that a company may have a dark color as primary, so it may appear that we need a dark background, which is painful for reading text. Or you may want to indicate it in the other way. I collaborated with many theme firms that uh, had black colors as main ones. Some of them agreed to avoid overusage, some not. All these points are subject for approval between you and your client. There are many companies that treat uh, their brand book as a uh, holy bible and you better do as they want. But when things go right, you may divide your draft on several sections and elements just as we discussed in previous videos. Header, footer, content area, buttons, icons, forms, and you also may have some special custom section too. Then start by picking up the main color and apply it to header, background, works. If not, try to apply this color to navigation text. Works. Hope it does. Then you may play with the secondary color or continue to apply the primary one to other elements like buttons or icons. If a brand book has color proportion, try to follow that as well. For instance, if brand book reads 50% of purple, 30% of light blue and 20 light gray, try to stick th these figures to keep print image the same. Go for it. Experiment. There are many scientific approaches to color selection and its influence on people. Uh, in addition, some research might be done before choosing colors in case if your customer has no corporate identity yet. So you may need to pick up colors to distinct your client from, from his or her competitors. Collect most well-known in industry and define the color that is not used yet. It uh, could be a combination of colors or gradients. Treat your color as a transport of emotion and message. If a color attracts too much attention on itself, it might look fun, but it's pointless from the business point of view. The, the main goal is to meet corporate or so-called business goals with the user wants. So use colors to do it for you. Backgrounds, font color, icon shapes, all could be painted differently. Do your best and remember, there is no bad color, there are bad color combinations. Okay, using triple or professionally called triadic color scheme. I suggest you to use this color scheme in the beginning of your design practice as it is the most functional and easy to learn color scheme. In my view, the uh, three colors are the best fit for most designs since I may select one color as primary and two others for accents. What does it look like? Imagine a color wheel with a triangle inside. Each triangle each points to a specific color on the spectrum. Whenever triangles rotates, the hue of all three, three color changes. That's how triadic scheme works. You may find many color scheme generators online that will help you to define the proper color set.